name of the Lord. Our God is faithful. You are worthy to the end. King of kings and Lord of lords. We exalt you. We bless your name. Oh. I have seen the Lord's goodness. He is mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I have seen.
understand. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, I says love, oh. I don't deserve it, but you love me.
I don't think, I mean, in official matter, it's a sign that years has been wasted. That and years has been wasted doing the wrong thing or doing nothing at all. This morning, God has sent me to tell you that no matter what is responsible for your wasted years, whether your ignorance, whether it's a demonic issue, there shall be restoration. Amen. God is about to restore your years. Amen. Your wasted years, your lost years, your lost time, your lost potentials. God is releasing grace of restoration on you. Amen. You believe you make your name louder. Amen. God has sent me to tell you that no matter, no matter the years the locusts have eaten, there shall be restoration for your years. No matter the time that has been wasted, the locusts and the palmer worms have eaten. And child of God, let me remind you that the locusts we are talking about here are not physical locusts. The locusts God is talking about here, they are not physical locusts. Let me remind you, physical locusts eat grasses, but spiritual locusts eat years and time. Physical locusts, you know, the, you know the, 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 this is they call locusts, the insects they call locusts. The physical one eats grasses and they eat what you plant in the farms. But the spiritual locusts, they eat your time, they eat your years, they feed on people's years and times and potentials. I want to speak over your life that any locusts, any spiritual locusts that has fed on your years, fed on your time, fed on your potentials, that you have age without achievement. You have a number of age, you can't explain what you did with it. From this morning, recovery is taking place in your life. Amen. God is recovering your years. Amen. I don't know who I'm speaking to. I came this morning with the anointing for restoration of time. Amen. Anointing for restoration of opportunities. Amen. Anointing for restoration of years that have been lost. Amen. You believe that's your portion, you make your amen louder. Amen. How do you know years has been spent? How do you know that years are wasted? There are three things we do with years. Either we invest them or we spend them or we waste them. To invest your years, you will never be ashamed to say, oh, this is how old I am. But when years are wasted, when years are wasted doing nothing, when years are wasted doing the wrong thing, when years are wasted by the devil himself, it gets to a point, you, you are 45, 50, 38, 33, you are not able to explain how at 38, no one at 38, no one single house, at 38, no building, at 38, no marriage at 38 no business at 38 nothing what we are you doing at least from the time you turned 18 that is 20 years ago what we are you doing when you turn 20 18 years ago okay what we are you doing even when you were 25 13 years ago so you are a little bit ashamed to even say this the number of my years i came to speak to you there is grace to restore time in your life amen grace is coming on you amen. time is being restored Amen. I said time is being restored. Amen. Wasted years have been restored. Amen. The years the locusts have eaten. The years the power worms have eaten. Amen. The years delay has taken. Amen. In this July, God is restoring them. Amen. I said God is restoring them. Amen. You believe you make your amen louder. Amen. One of the things we are going to pray this morning is for age overtaking achievements. What I call it now age overtaking achievement i mean at least okay we, we not just age overtaking achievement we are going to pray for age matching achievement what do i call it now my brothers and sisters in christ there are some things that by the virtue of your age you should have been able to achieve this i wish anybody had me now I, I, do, am i talking to anybody there are some things that if they are in place to declare your age you know they had you Talk to me now. Hey, do I have a class here this morning? Uh, there are some things as a single. Uh, there are some things as a brother. There are some things as a man, as a woman. If they are in place, even though everything is not complete, 
it's not too hard for you again to declare your age i mean that is what i call age matching achievement i want to speak to somebody whose age is faster than your achievement this morning god is releasing grace on you amen your achievement will meet up with your age amen i say your achievement shall meet up with your age amen and i want to prophesy somebody here who is believing on my voice and what god has sent me to do this season one thing god is going to do in your life there shall be an age overtaking achievement amen i said there shall be an age overtaking achievement amen it shall happen in your life amen. spiritually amen parentally amen financially amen in your career amen suddenly amen. i said suddenly amen i said suddenly amen one touch from god one door from god we cover your wasted years amen. if you believe your own will happen give me a faithful amen amen overtaking achievements there are two things that happens to every man's life it's either pastor he is enjoying this age overtaking achievements then when he tells you her his age but when she tells you her age you say she's lying that she's trying to make herself look like he's a boy I wish anybody heard me now he tells you his age she tells you her age you say it's a lie and that's how people will keep bringing their age down to look like they are babies no she's not lying he's not lying god has given him age overtaking achievements now there are other people that when you ask them their age they actually lie they reduce the age to look like their situation because uh, how do you say you are 48 and I'm, I'm like as i said no business in hand i mean which one did you even learn let alone we have not seen money to do how do you say you are 48 no house in the village no house in Aba, no wayek no graduate no whatever how do you explain what are you doing with the last 45 years so what do you see you say i am 32 forget about my mustache you know what you are trying to make sure because you can't explain Explain what has happened in those years. And the Bible told us that one of the things that takes those years, it says locus, power worms. And I told you we are dealing with spiritual locuses here. The physical locus eat grass. The spiritual and demonic locus they eat people's time. They eat people's time. I came to judge. I came to rebuke anything that is eating your time. Anything that is eating your potentials, anything that is wasting your opportunity, in the name above every other name, I rebuke that demon of your life. Amen. I rebuke that demon of your life. Amen. I rebuke that demon of your life. Amen. I speak into your life. I receive. Today, recover your potentials. Amen. Recover your opportunities. Amen. Recover your wasted years. Amen. I restore your time. Amen. I restore your open doors. Amen. I restore your privileges. Amen. You believe you make your mm louder amen. as i'm speaking to you now angels are working on your behalf amen. i said angels are working on your behalf amen. your years are being restored amen. your time is being restored amen. your marriage is being restored amen. you believe you make your mm the loud child of god we're gonna pray one of the ways the devil wastes people see it remember Today we are dealing with time, years, and potentials. That's what this demon feed on. When a physical locust enter your farm, you will experience the impact on your corn, maize, and cassava. Am I right? When a spiritual locust enters a man's life, he doesn't feed on your cloth. He feeds on your time. Suddenly you are 50, nothing to show for it. Suddenly you are 40, nothing to show for it. I mean, you can't even explain. So when you are doubting yourself, are you sure I'm up to this age? Most people that go to swipe affidavit to lie about their age didn't do so for anything. They did so because the number of actual years they have spent is carrying them. They can't believe they're 45. So to help their baby, they said, please make it 35. Help me confuse me. <laughs> so that I, I don't sleep and don't wake up again. Help me do what? Uh, help me. I know it's a lie. But help me in this lie. I wish anybody help me now. Anybody under the sound of my voice, I decree over your life. Nothing shall eat your time again. Amen. Nothing shall eat your potentials again. Amen. You believe you make your MM loud. Amen. I release on you not just the anointing for restoration. 
I release on you the grace to do it early. Amen. I say the grace to do it early. Amen. Grace for early achievement. Amen. Is released on you now. Amen. Grace for early achievement. Amen. Spiritually, financially, maritally, academically, is released on you now. Amen. You believe you make your amen louder. Amen. Let me tell you, child of God. We are going to deal with these points in prayer, but let me mention one of them to you. One of the ways the devil delay people and waste their time, one of those locusts is, is what I call sometimes delay in marriage. Delay in marriage. Delay in marriage. Delay. See, you don't understand the devil and his fighting method. Delay in marriage. Delay in marriage. You may, you may think you are fooling yourself. You may think, well, I'm not ready for this thing now. Blah, 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 blah. You think you're acting on your own. You are not ready for marriage, but you sleep with a woman every night. In, in adultery, you are not. Am I talking to anybody? Family life is expensive, but every day, 10,000 is spent in drinking alcohol. I wish anybody had me. The devil wants to make sure that by the time you finally get yourself a man, that you have you have you are too old to witness that you can't see properly when your first child is doing his 10th birthday. The devil wants to make sure. That you take your children to PTA meeting as though you are their grandfather. But it's true. You know what he's doing? He wants to make sure this thing they call grandchild, that even if you let her get born again, you can't see it. Because time has finished. Delay in marriage to anybody here. Let me say this to you. How do you let me give you a typical example of delay in marriage? When you see a man or a woman who's who in whose first child, whose first child, you know, your first child is getting admission, is getting admission, or whose first child is six months old, when his last born should have been getting admission into university is delayed. Should I repeat myself? At the time that the dead is coming to church, God has done it. Paul is one year today. He is 51 that day. Did you get the point? And we, we thank God though. Paul is a year today. Papa is 50 that day. I share the same birthday with my boy. Mommy is saying, oh, my kid is one year today. She is 49 that day. Put it together. Delay in marriage. I, such children, nobody is able to train them. Because by the time the boy is 15, 16, 17, 18, you're already 70. When juvenile deliberacy comes, you can't flog him. Where did you see him? Your hand is doing like the hand of that man who was on television. You... <laughs> I didn't say anything, no. That man who saw whose hand is just doing like this. Imagine that one fathering a child. You know, you know, this boy is cool and their chest... Yeah, just, you, you, you need strength to train children. 